Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am French Shot Pearson, and welcome again to my channel. Let's say it together. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. It is Sunday. Happy Sunday at 6-9-2024. The other day, I brought to you P6. P6. He showed where there was special fencing put up around the White House in anticipation of a Gaza protest. Well, they were there. And I'm sure you guys saw it. So let's uh, see what this gentleman uh, is uh, talking about. He's showing the graffiti on the statues that they uh, marked up. Check it out. <laughs> but I wanted to come down here to the White House and show you the results of that protest. Let's uh, go and take a look at some of the vandalism and graffiti that remains here on some of the statues in Lafayette Park. Now, this is the statue of Von Steuben. Uh, von Steuben was the um, general that helped out the United States troops for the time of Colonius. And you can see Free Palestine. Oh my. Is that so that's one part right there. Let's go to another part here. Let's go to 2.30. Nephew Biden and occupation, Viva Palestine, let the Gaza live, revolution of the people, free Palestine. Ooh, it really smells here though, because they put this, uh, they put this stuff on it. Unbelievable, right? Let's go to another part here. Let's see, we got... I guess that's all Zionists or bastards, maybe. I don't know. Uh, dismantle the war machine. Queers for Palestine. Long live the resistance. Long live the Intifada. Biden, we see you. Boycott now. Free Palestine. Really bad, right? Really bad. Let's go to the last part. It seems to be the same graffiti artist that covered some of the other stuff. They got the handprints, uh, quite a few stickers. So yeah, the part that got me the most was the part of the 757. There's a lot of graffiti on this particular statue. I mean, they didn't, uh, they did not ease up on this thing. Well, it's at the 230 mark, actually just horrid what they did just horrid so down here they've already got a chemical to remove some of the paint this must be like cement or something marble now i want you guys to understand what's going on here this is beyond demonstration level this is excuse the french this is like a dog marked in their territory you feel me and in a minute, I'm gonna show you what that means, but keep that in mind. This is like a dog marking their territory. I'm not calling the people dogs. I brought to you all a, week, a video a few weeks ago where I told you that a lot of these groups are infiltrated. And I do believe these college kids and this group, which is talking about the war overseas in the Middle East, it's been infiltrated. There is a way to conduct yourself peacefully without tearing stuff up. And uh, it took a lot of money to put the fencing up. It's gonna take a lot of money to clean up behind them. And specifically, it's gonna take a lot of cleanup, if it's possible, to restore these landmarks. Why do they go after landmarks? Well, the main reason is that they wanna erase history from the American's mind. And they're gonna get the youth to do it because they don't want them to have any past to respect. Understand how deep this is. They don't want the youth to have anything in terms of respectability. They are already trying to separate the kids from their parents. You follow me? They're doing indoctrination classes instead of education classes. That's one aspect. And now they've physically got them um, in terms of thinking about an issue they can all join. And then they join these groups and they collectively destroy that which was. A country, arguably, that has no history and no culture 
is a system and a country that's doomed for failure. So again, the dogs have marked their territory. Why? Because they want to have another George Floyd, Black Lives Matter, and Tifa moment. And at some point, I'm predicting it's going to get out of hand. And then they're going to enter in a new social order. This is what they want. This is what the powers want. But they're going to have the kids who are impressionable. They're going to have them do it. Then they're going to wake up one day and realize what they've done. But it's going to be too late because the new world order will be in full swing. I like to see them collectively deal with um, poor people's uh, issues right here in America. Because arguably 99% of them ain't never been to Israel in the first place. You see my point? So you see how the powers are allegedly behind this thing. They fund it. I say they fund the thing. And they indoctrinate the people. I'm standing in the middle. I'm for peace. I'm not on either side. But hey, I see, I see what's going on. Now, this is what I mean by the dog marking his territory. Uh, shout out to someone who sent me this the other day on the internet. They sent this to my email. This is watch World News Report today. World News Report today. While I'm here, I'll subscribe. Now, must see the people's actual red line surrounding the White House. They made a red line around the White House. This is why I'm saying the dog just marked his territory. He just marked his territory. Let me be more specific. The magazine Economist, Economist Magazine, and this is from 2012, 22nd December. See if I do everything right here. In that magazine, the gift that goes on giving, you will see this here. I always talk about this magazine cover. This is when they have it depicted where you have Hamas, Hamas in the air firing at Israel. It's literally in your face. The magazine came out over 11 years ago. How could they be that accurate? There's a bandana on this person's head at Hamas. And why am I showing you this? Look at America. America has toppled over. Do you feel me? And what's around America? Is this oil? Is this blood? Is this hatred? What is it? It's got to be a transformation because it leads all the way to the White House and through what? Through a canal. How do I know this is a canal? Barack Obama is in the boats and he's going through the canal. Canal means birth, the birth of a new world order. You destroy the first one. You see Washington DC tilted over like that. You see America on the ground, red, white, and blue, drunk from the oil. America's petrodollar is backed by oil. So evidently the funds have run out America's dying economically. America is teetering, but it's surrounded by blood and oil, allegedly. Do you follow me? And Barack Obama is going through in a period of hell, a rough guide to hell. It says a rough guide to hell. Understand what's going on here. This is depicted 11 years in advance. This magazine came out. How do they know? This is the bloodline. These are the fallen angels. This is the dark side. The boat going through a canal. See, this is the entrance right here. But well, watch this. Let me tie it in. They made, allegedly, their dog mark. They already made their mark. But look, look what these infiltrators, these instigators who are involved in this, leading our kids. I'm not saying all our kids are this, but they are instigators in here which are tearing up America. They're literally peeing and they made a red 
When I say literally peeing, they marked up the statues. And now they made a red line, not a gold line, not a gray line, not a yellow line, a red line, an actual red line surrounding the White House. And this gentleman brought this to us. Check this out. Part of the red line encircling the White House, hashtag the people's red line. This can be in fast motion. It's absolutely unbelievable. I don't know who came up with the material, but they must have made a killing. It goes on forever. Unbelievable stuff. And Lafayette Square is also filled with people. People are marching in the streets. This line is encircling the White House absolutely crazy just take a left and it just keeps going and going and going and going unbelievable the turnout is unbelievable and i believe that they have encircled the white house with this red line it's unbelievable hashtag the people's red line tell me what y'all think in the comments below god bless each of is this symbolic of blood is this symbolic of the blood that's being spilled overseas? I get it. But they're certainly in the White House. And I'm looking in the past. As I look in the past, this is the end result from the magazine. It already predicted the war, Hamas and Israel. They already predicted that. That's accurate. So you don't think this is being going to be carried out in the future? America being toppled and dying? They're creating a new world order, people. I said they're creating a new world order. It's called liberation, but what it means is really change. It means transformation. It means new world order. It means getting rid of everything from the past and adopting something new. And this is where we're at. This is where we're at. They're going to change everything in America. They're using these kids who don't know any better and they're marking up America. They're literally marking their territory like an animal would. And this mysterious red line that they have here, it might be symbolic for the blood overseas, but trust me, eventually, the mob that's involved with these kids, they're gonna go and attack the building. That's what I believe they're gonna do. Not just in the White House. According to this, they're gonna hit all of our major edifices because anything that stands for America is on their radar. I am French Shy Pearson. Put your comment out there, let me know what you think. They're coming after us. Keep Jesus, keep the angels by your side. They're coming against us people. That's all I know and they're telling you. And these innocent kids have no idea the infiltration that they're involved in. They need their will to get it done. I'm Fred Shapiro, and thank you for joining me.